Hello everyone, this is the Prussian Prince uh, with a special video for Total War Arena. So patch 10 has been announced and here are the patch notes. I assume these are not the full patch notes, but still, let's go through them. Uh, this patch is going to be released soon. Initially, it was going to be released today, but I don't know if that's going to be the case anymore as there was text over here that was removed. But anyway, let's go through the changes. Uh, so pull through is fixed, aka soft collision. Now this means that you can no longer pull through enemy units, obviously. This was a huge problem before in the game because you could just easily pull through enemies, uh, melee units like spearmen or uh, swordsmen and not take that many casualties and still get through to the other side and kill whatever was there like artillery or uh, or skirmishers and that was a huge problem uh, but right now with this change it seems like that's gonna be fixed which is of course good but we'll see how it actually works because uh, now apparently you will be stuck within that enemy unit once you knock down uh, I mean if you don't move out while their men are knocked down after a charge so we'll see how that works I mean I like the sound of it but we'll see how it actually is in game now the reward system has been reworked which I mean, I love this. So right now, you you get points for decapping. Like this is uh, obviously something that is very very good because uh, it is team play, of course. Like if you if you say you might be able to save the game for your team if you decap, and uh, getting points for that is gonna be really really nice. Now let's see tanking. You now receive rewards whenever you block damage prevent damage not to take it that is so not too sure about this one I guess it's okay if you are uh, like for the most part it's gonna be okay I guess but sometimes like there might just be people farming it I suppose we'll see now you also get rewards for killing which is fair enough I guess now for team rewards range and uh, that is good that no longer the whole team gets the rewards uh, yeah, I really like that change as well. Let's look at spotting though. So you, know, you now get points for damage done to enemy unit that you're currently spotting. This is shared if multiple players are spotting a unit. Also a good change personally in minor capture zones. Capturing a spotting tower no longer gives points just for capturing. Hmm, not sure about that one. Doesn't really make a difference though. Removed survival bonus. You no longer earn bonus rewards for staying alive longer. That's okay. Friendly fire, increase the penalty you receive for friendly fire. I guess that's fine. Deployable friendly fire. You're no longer punished for friendly fire caused by your deployables. Now, this is very debatable, I think, because for one, you could have like a troll on your team who like literally places stakes or caltrops right behind your unit, and then when you move your unit, your whole unit is dead, right? And he doesn't care about the friendly fire. Now there's, now he doesn't even get punished for that. So that is one problem. Or you could also have like somebody who just doesn't really know much and uh, he just stakes up your whole base and then it's just like really, really weird and everyone just dies on the stakes because they're badly positioned. But then there's, there's also the situation when uh, say you are staking up like in a good position you tell your team where it is and everything else and then like your team just goes on the stakes and gives you like 2000 friendly fire even though like you placed the stakes well or caltrops that is and you also told your team where they are and even then like you might get punished for doing all of that which is a little bit unfair but in this case it is good that the friendly fire caused by deployables is no longer there so that's why I'm saying it's deplo uh, the deployable friendly fire uh, not actually existing anymore is debatable because on one side it's good and on the other it's like bad because it does allow for more trolls but we will see. Increase the number of soldiers you must lose before you can leave without a penalty to 60%. Well, we'll see how that works. I don't think it's going to make a difference but 
Let's see. So victory bonus. All players on the winning team now receive bonus rewards. Killing the entire enemy team gives 50 bonus unit XP per unit. That is pretty nice. Uh, points victories. Timeout give 45 unit XP. And base capture victories give 40 unit XP. So I mean that's that's pretty good, right? We'll see how they balance it later. I mean they said that these rewards are not like... This is not how they're gonna be for like the rest of the game or whatever. They're, this is just like the first iteration of the victory bonus. They might balance it out more. But uh, yeah, this is really good for team play as they say here. I mean, victories will actually be important and give you bonuses so you can grind faster. But let's look at the next uh, topic here. So the base capture sound alert. Your commander will now very noticeably tell you that your base is under attack. That is great. I like that. Well, we'll see. I mean, it does make uh, sneak capping not as good anymore because now you get that sound alert. And however, it does take a little bit of the skill away, like having the situational awareness and just looking at the top to see if there's like your team your base is getting capped so not too sure how I feel about it but just by looking at it I think it's okay that this is getting changed now let's see missiles in the forest missile units shooting from within a forest now receive a 10% penalty to both range of damage additionally projectiles including artillery now correctly collide with trees so that missile units are generally less effective within forests I like this a lot this is one of the things I suggested on the forum as well, and this is great that now this is actually in the patch. Floating combat text. Uh, when you hit an enemy, there's a small number floating up showing how much damage, damage you did. We call that floating combat text, and we've just improved it. Instead of many n small numbers floating up, we now display a large number above your unit that counts up as you do more damage. Like this, you can see much more easily. Yep, if you look at this image, I don't know if you can see it, um, in the video, but this is way better than before. It's before it was just like over each in individual entity in a unit, which was really hard to actually, you know, gauge how well you're doing in that particular engagement. But now it's far easier because it's just like a single number over the whole unit. Uh, unit weight differences. Uh, we've commonly heard that the difference between unit weights is too big. Light units are too fast, sometimes ridiculously so, while heavy units are too slow, which makes them less fun to play. Also, it made heavy units more susceptible to ranged fire as they couldn't move away quickly enough. We've now changed this so that light units are slower and heavy units are faster. Of course, a light unit is still faster than a heavy unit, but not as much as before. Uh, I'm not too sure about this. This is the one that I'm most skeptical about because I thought that the speeds before were actually quite okay. Especially now that they're changing the unit collision, it means that light units can no longer abuse the pull through as much as before, like say Thurios Spearman. So this is like a double nerf to light units, I suppose. And missiles, bear in mind, because missiles did get a lot of nerfs actually. If you look here, uh, the missiles in the forest got nerfed, and then uh, the now their speed is going to be lower because missiles generally are light, so they'll not be able to run away from heavies as well anymore. So that's why I'm not too sure about how the game is going to play out. But I mean, we'll just have to try out patch then when it's out and see how it actually is. Let's look at the next topic. Uh, so AFK player detection. We're now detecting if players have gone AFK during a battle and we will no longer give rewards to those who have been AFK. This includes any bonus rewards such as victory bonus, which means that AFK players will essentially get near nothing. Obviously, that is a very good change. You don't want players who are AFK on the team and who don't contribute anything at all to the game. Now let's see, points display the top bar in the battle user interface now also shows the number of team points earned. Team points decide victory when the battle timer runs out. This is good I think, it's uh, this number. I assume this is the number of men you have left and this is the amount of points you have. So that is uh, pretty good I suppose. Now you can easily see if you will win or lose on points without having to check 
everyone's uh, points. Ping information. If your game is lagging and you're not sure why it might be your network connection, we've now got a UI element that will al alert you to network issues you might be encountering in battle. Obviously that's good. Anything that uh, helps with uh, diagnosing uh, performance is very good. A bug fixes. Units charging from standstill into unit immediately in front of them will now do substantially less damage. If your unit has no momentum when charging, it will now be noticeably do less damage. So that is very good. Because before you could just keep abusing the charges while in melee, which was like really annoying and obviously not how the game was intended to be. And uh, yeah, now you get punished for missing your charge a lot more, which is great in my opinion. Units charging into the sides or the back of other units will now receive far less damage to themselves. This is good because like, I remember just rear charging or side charging units and then losing so many men in my unit that I started questioning whether that rear charge was actually worth it. Some artillery projectile types now correctly give you additional projectiles. Okay. Double clicking the base capture progress bar will now pan the camera to the correct base. That is obviously good. Weapons that give bonuses against specific unit classes now apply these bonuses correctly. Not sure exactly what that means. Does that mean that the bonuses were not applied before or in specific situations they weren't applied? I don't know, but whatever that means, it is good that it's now fixed. Um, let's see, Miltiada's voiceover for abilities now plays correctly, okay. Missile units were sometimes immune to cavalry charges when in forest. This is now fixed. All right, so that is the third nerf to missiles. I mean, I guess this is okay for cavalry to actually kill missiles even in the forest, but we will see because these are like three nerfs to uh, missiles so far that I've counted. So we will see. I'm not too sure about how it's gonna play, but uh, the patch itself. I mean, again, the, the patch so far does seem like it's the best patch so far for uh, Total War Arena. Lots of things added and uh, optimized, fixed and such, which is uh, good. Now let's look at the next uh, change. Uh, Legatus spot equipment stats have now been added. Okay. <clears throat> All right. The development server thing, whatever. They were various fixes to unit voice over Caltrops and wooden stakes were doing disproportionately low damage to cavalry units, which is now fixed. Okay, ground type debuffs are now being applied correctly to artillery units. Okay, archers were igniting tar that they were standing on when firing flaming arrows, even if not aimed at tar. This is no longer the case. That's great because it was kind of hilarious how your own units while sitting on tar and targeting other units would just blow up because of the tar that's below them it's like what so now the fact that they have changed it is good individual soldiers chasing an enemy despite being issued move orders to break combat has been fixed that is good because it improves unit responsiveness news panel behavior fixed and it will now only show up once instead of repeatedly good bonus free xp for a special event now show up correctly in battle Results good fix the division by zero crash related to network metrics. Obviously that is also good fixing all the crashes But yeah, those are the main changes in patch 10 Really really happy about how the patch is looking like again. We will see how uh, Light units and missile units will actually play out in this patch. That's what I'm most skeptical about but overall the patch looks really really good again best batch i think so far just by looking at the patch notes but yeah hope you all found this useful uh, so don't forget to comment rate and subscribe follow me on facebook twitter and google plus share the video i'll see you